Hello, I'm the Hungry Vegan. Today I'm going to make you a really nice sriracha hummus. Um, I think you're going to really enjoy it, so let's get to it. Okay, so today we're going to be making hummus. Um, hummus is really versatile. You can, like... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just recording this on my phone. So hummus is really versatile. You can add pretty much whatever you like to it. So once you've got the basics down, you can... You can really, well, the world's your oyster. So the, what, we, what we're going to start off with is draining some chickpeas, which is really simple. I'll just show you how to do that. Now, you need to make sure that you keep this water because this is, um, this is aquafaba and it goes into all sorts of different recipes. You can make, like, mousses out of it and um, something else as well. It's like a replacement for egg white and stuff. But maybe we'll make something that with another video. I'm, I am going to use a little bit of this, but not really that much of it today. So we're just going to let this water drain out of there. Get a bit off that. So once that's done, you can put that straight into your blender, like so. Okay, now chickpeas are obviously the main ingredient. You can use other beans or what have you, but I think chickpeas are the the tastiest ones. Uh, the other elements of this are going to be garlic. Now I'm just using this like frozen chopped garlic because it's really handy. Um, I, I have got actually fresh garlic in but I'm just going to use this for quickness. I'm going in with about, I like garlic so I'm going to put about a tablespoon of this in. Like so. Now if you haven't got um, frozen or fresh garlic you can obviously go for just like Garlic granules or something, anything as long as you uh, as long as you uh, get the garlic notes. Or if you want to, just live dangerously and leave out. Do what you want. It's you that's going to be eating it. So after that, we're going to go for lemon juice. Now I'm just using this lemon juice here because it's handy. You know, it's handy just to have it. Because I've just I've been out for a ten mile walk today, so the last thing you want to do is like, you know, go shopping and everything. So I'm just going to make this. Uh, so I can eat it now kind of thing. So we're going to go in with two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. Let's see what that's like. I'm going to go in with some liquid aminos as well, mainly just for a salt element, but this isn't essential at all. I mean, you can always add soy sauce or even just normal salt or just leave out completely if you're, you know, into the salt kind of life. So I'm going to put, no, I'm not going to put a full, I'll put half a tablespoon of this in. Okay. Right, now, I'm going to get some tahini. This is this here, look. Now this is quite expensive, it's like £2.50 for this jar, but you, I mean, you, use, you use such a small amount of it, it's really... It's, it really does pay for itself. It's good stuff. So I'm going to go in with two tablespoons of this. As you can see, you've got to be a bit careful. Now this is the only oil element that we're going to put into this because I'm not really into putting extra oil, especially since I'm trying to lose some weight. So I'm going to stay off the oil. that in there like that. Yeah. Okay, move that out of the way. Now we're going to go in with two tablespoons of my favourite sriracha. Now you don't have to add this, this is like purely you can add to this whatever you like i mean you all know the different types of hummuses there are there's so many different types and you can literally make whatever you like and um, if you want to do like an extra garlicky one or like caramelized onion one you could add some like chutney to it you could you could literally the world's your oyster you can do whatever you like so i'm going to put two tablespoons of sriracha in this because i really like this stuff you've got to keep in mind that in sriracha there's quite a lot of garlic so it's um, you've got to be careful how much garlic you put in at the start, unless you might end up with a bit of a garlic overload. 
Well, that's it, guys. Now, all you need to do is add, I've still got this aquafaba, the chickpea water. Just add a bit of that in there. Just a few drops. The main thing is just to get it going. Now, the way I like to do mine is, um, as soon as it swirls around and you know that it's mixing well, I'll turn this around. That's when it's done. So, I'll show you what I mean. So, I think this is going to be right first time. So, all you do is leave it on until it's nice and smooth. See, I said that, then it stops doing it. So, I'm just going to add a little bit more water. This is a consistency that I like. Let's see if I can get even close to it. Now you've got to make sure that it's swirling around and it's not seized up. And as soon as it starts to swirl around like this, for me that's ready. So oh, I'm just going to leave it on for another like 30 seconds just to mix through a bit. Okay, that looks done to me. So what I'll do is I'll just give it a quick, I'll just give it like a quick taste in here to check it's okay. As you can see, it's looking good. Mm. Needs quite a bit more sriracha, so I'm going to go for that. just tastes kind of like plain hummus so let's go let's go again it's a really nice hummus though don't get me wrong mm. yeah that's perfect now because it's nice and then it's nice and hot which is what we were going for so I'm gonna put this into a tub my little handy spatula Okay, so this is all in a, in a tub now. My video just cut off there for some reason. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. So, let's give it another taste. It's got the perfect amount of sriracha in it now. Mm. It tastes amazing, guys. You really, you should really try making this. Because, I mean, I know it's easy enough to buy it, but God, when you make it at home, it's just a totally different thing. And there's no oil in this or just like that tahini and a bit of salt and that's any bad stuff so i'll try it any flavors that you like thanks for watching cheers